Okay, so this is Ringwalk Media, and uh, we are very, very happy to be here this evening with Luke the Hatchet Vaughan and uh, our good friend Anthony Pythian. And they're both here tonight because Vicious Seven is about to get very, very tasty. June the 9th at the Bowlers, we have got these two Manchester boys going at it against each other. Anthony called out Luke last time we had a, a little interview. And uh, I've got a funny feeling all hell is going to break loose on the night. Boy, <laughs> very, very nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. Appreciate it, mate. It's like you said, I was sat there with the kids. I think it was a Saturday night. It was after Anthony's fight he had. I actually said, good luck to him. And then um, all of a sudden, I'm getting a message, a uh, remote video. you got Anthony being a bit of a balloon on it, you know, like, uh, like we do. Uh, we, we're having it next. So... He knows me. I've never, I've never seen a fight down my life. He's not himself, so perfect, mate. You ain't, you ain't getting a better fight for us, our age, in our career, for my opinion, anyway. Uh, it's like, I can't put it, it's our World Cup. It's what we wanted when we both turned over. It's mental, mate. It's mad how it's come about. He's had a, he's had a better start to me the last three years. Credit to him over that. I'm going to sit here and boo. I've had a shocking start, but I've had 40 months since my last fight. So no one knows me style. No one knows me. Yeah. It's going to be one out of a fight. And we're both in there to obviously win, knock each other out, tear each other's face off. Whatever it, whatever it happens, happens. We get out there, we have a pint, job done. But until then, game on, innit? <laughs> <laughs> like night and city, game on. Well, I'll tell you what, this is the quietest I've heard Anthony since I've known him. Anthony, um, so Listen, this... he's not quiet. He's not quiet. We don't know quiet. I don't fucking show up. That's what it is. Well, let's go back to that night, Anthony, when we did the interview. Um, you've just been in with um, veteran Harry um, Matthews, who's yes. you know, no mean feat, and you've got a good victory there. Um, <laughs> it, was... it were a good performance, although you was kind of disappointed a little bit, but I thought you did really, really well. And the first thing I said to you is, where do you want to go now? And your answer immediately was, I want Luke we Ball. Want. I want to smash his head in. <laughs> this is, this is yeah. the fight I want. And this was, now you've got it. Are you happy? Yeah, yeah. I just want to put the record straight, um, you know, about calling Luke out. Um, there was phone calls going to and fro from last year. Now, you can say <laughs> I called him out, but I know the phone was going a couple of times last year. Is yeah. that available? Is that available? Now, yeah. Now, now, the reason why I called him out was, you know, let, let's have a camp and let's fucking fight proper. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Rather than phone not going week before, you know, I'm not a journey man, you know. So, so that's you know that what? Was the, well, the phone was going without us knowing shit. So I'm getting told, listen, you've got people here in my mind. Fucking fair enough. So it's really difficult. Luke, Luke, just come a little bit close to the camera. That's it. Yeah, sorry, mate. Yeah, so basically. Uh, it was a bit of like, I, I don't manage with that. I've not enjoyed a fight yet. I've not done my style of fighting. And that was the truth out and end all of it. I've gone away. I've had 14 months off. I'm a different person, a different fighter, a different manager, different lads around me. I'm fucking living time in my life. But Anthony's gone on. He's had a great career so far. Can't take that away from him. But obviously, the build up to this, we thought we would have fought before this. The amount of people who was staring the shit. It was like, you know what, it had to happen this fight. It had to, it had to happen. And then Anthony called me out. He was like, you know what, let's fucking have a count. Let's go at it. We're both getting on. Why not? You know what I mean? I, mean, I, I wouldn't turn the fight down against anyone. So, but this is like fucking stop a bill off on a well, massive platform. No, no, nothing more that we want. You know what I mean? I mean, it's, it's so, a crack. I'm, I'm happy as shit. I'm happy as, I'm happy as fuck. I'm buzzing that to call me out. It's mad how it's happened. I've been here there three weeks ago. Let's do it. I tell you what, Anthony, he's got quite a lot to say for himself, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah he, won't be, he, won't, he, won't, hey, he won't be fucking talking that much on June the 9th, let me tell you. I'm oh, sorry, when the fucking peg is flying down that bloat of your... <laughs> oh, you've used the word. <laughs> oh, shit. There it is, stay away, bang. <laughs> Well, listen, it's a cracking card as well because you've got some really, really good boxers on there as well as yourselves. And you've got Josh Holmes, Sean Yaxley, Connor Lynch, Bobby Faulkner, and, of course, Charlie Edwards, former WBC world champion. You know, yeah. Kieran's doing incredibly well with these shows. And, 
you know, just to have you guys on there as well in the Battle of Manchester as it's been billed, you know, that's got to give you guys some confidence to uh, to go forward and produce a cracking fight. Anthony, you know, what what are your thoughts on how this fight's going to go? Um, it, listen, it, I'm dragging Luke to hell. It, he's, you know, it, he's going on like, you know, he's, he's had a bad start. Listen, it, it, it's going to get fucking worse because he's going too well. I, you know, I hope he's training hard. I hope he's giving it maximum effort because... I'm dragging him to hell. Luke, we can't hear you, mate. He's going to go up the right screen. Expect to say, but it's simple as that. One of us, it's going to be a board back. One of us going back and between, and it's going to be fucking good. It's going to be one out of the fight. Guys, that is it. pause for a second. Luke, I don't know what you're doing, but we can't hear you. Mate, this fold is That's shit. That's it. We can hear you now. Uh, yeah. So what I, I am training hard. You may be all right, yeah. yeah. So I'm training hard, yeah. I know he's training hard. I'm gonna fucking put it on him like I like he's not had before. He's not had no one go at him. And I've had no one go at me to be fair. I didn't know what I'm fucking doing in the last three fights. But this is brand new to me. And I'm telling you, he fucking gonna get it. And that is the truth all and all of it. And he's gonna give it me. So like the best man go at it, the best man wins, and that's the end of it. But it's going to be the fight of the night. End of story. Fuck who else is on the show. I don't even know who they are. I'm not even interested. I don't even know him. <laughs> we ain't, ain't got a clue. I ain't got to sit in and bullshit like I know people, me. I ain't got a fucking clue. I don't want there. And I know me. Because we trained together, and now we're going to fight each other. And that is it. So anyone can say what the fuck they want about me. I couldn't care less. But that night, it's going fucking off. So that was that was gonna, <laughs> that was going to be my next question. You guys have obviously trained together. You know each other's styles very, very well. What are you going to do differently um, to to kind of get that edge on each other, Anthony? What what's your plan? I know you can't tell us, but you know how are you going to deal with that? Hey, for big nose. <laughs> Straight from the off, mate. I'm just I'm just going to you know I'm going to put him under pressure. You know, put it this way. After the end of that first round, he's going to be fucking sorry. He's going to be sorry he's in there. He's, he's going to want to be out of there. That's the last place on earth he's going to want to be. He's in that fucking ring with me, trust me. <laughs> That's what we like to fucking hear. Because I'm coming fucking straight for you, boy. And that is it. <laughs> I want them fucking peggies on that floor like you want my look. Well, do a one of the two. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Well, fucking this fucking is hell. <laughs> The fucking two fair is coming to me, then, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I put a fucking telling under the pillow. I tell you what, yeah, the, cost, right. the cost of the two fairy has gone up in modern. I tell you what, oh yeah, both our noses are absolutely fucked. So, fucking know what they're going to look like after this. <laughs> well, it's certainly nah, but you know what? <laughs> yes, it's going it's, it's going to be clacking. It is. Like I said, he wants to hurt me. I want to fucking hurt him. And that's it. Once we get out there, the end of the fight, black and blue, safe, not out, whatever. That's all that matters. Go on to our families, happy day, job done. But from where we both come from, this is what gets me from being absolutely fucking idiots, basically. And we was. Same simple background, bad, bad past and all the rest of it. And we both turned our life around and we're on a platform now. You can only dream of, innit? You know what I mean? So that alone's unbelievable, but I ain't there to fucking mess about. Not like them last three he had. It was shocking. Fucking embarrassment. Now, game changer. Well, if you're talking about omens, Anthony has got uh, something on his side because, uh, of course, he's a Man City fan and uh, yeah. he could well be on to a treble there. Um, so make it a quadruple, Anthony, <laughs> couldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A quad, keep waiting for that. The, the, <laughs> never mind the treble, the fucking quad on, mate. I'll tell you what, I've it was... Been for, uh, six, I've been fucking waiting for it. I've been waiting for that. Virtually 16 years to the day you were jumping on a football pitch with a boiler suit on trying to stop City losing. Yeah. And 16 years later, you're probably going to be a week away from City winning a treble and you beating your opponent, in your opinion. Well, fucking that's, 16 that's, years. That's exactly how it's going to go down. That's exactly how it's hey, going to go down. I had that. Sit you, sit you clearing up and so am I. All right, 16 years ago, mate, you were fucking 
throw me out the balls. Then I have to terrorise him. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he's got, yeah, he's got, he has, he's got a point there. I remember it. I remember it. <laughs> fucking nuisance. <laughs> I've always been that, mate. I'm going to be a, I'm a, gonna fucking, be a fucking, fucking nuisance on that night. Trust me. I'll be well, a fucking head hey, out. Don't worry, mate. I'll put you out on your ass, then, and I'm going to fucking do it again. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'll just terrorise you again, mate. Go drag, go drag that door, man. So let's, let's have a, I have a question for you, Luke. <laughs> Anthony's, uh, Anthony's history there on, on you know, he's on box rack is there. He's 39 years old, five fights. Um, really? you know, three fights. But I cannot find your age anywhere. So Fucking 96, mate. Oh, 36, <laughs> I am. Enlighten us. How old are you? Yeah, that, yeah, that, I just can't be fucking face on every record like that because I'll be straight up with you. It's shit. Shit management. Didn't know what I'm doing. 40 month fucking, 40 month graph now. Rather go fight a fucking journeyman or whatever. It's got called out by Ant there. Straight into a big fight. Used to be a gambler. Why not fucking do it? You know what I mean? I'm the other dog in this fight on paper. Simple as that. I ain't gonna sit here and bullshit that. And he's had a top start to his career. And I respect him for that. And then he gets in that ring and then, But I'm brand new to it in my eyes. Yeah, I've been, I've been fucking out. Andy's been chinned. I've been chinned. That's why it's a perfect match. You know what I mean? So I can't fucking, I can't, listen, I can't knock his record. He can knock mine all he wants. I don't give a fuck. Cause I'm used to it. Even with fucking kids satirise me about it. But it is what it is. You know what I mean? Well, listen, it's going to be an absolute storming, storming fight. And I'm sure that you've got a lot of supporters coming on the night. I'm not asked about that. I'll turn up on my own, don't give a fuck. <laughs> well, I think the promoter I, I, I'm might not be. asked about all that. I'm not. He'll have an army there. You know what I mean? Shame you can't fill a fucking stadium, but you know what I mean? He'll have an, he'll have an army there that night. <laughs> and then he's the army coming. Hopefully. I mean, I know there's going to, you know, there's going to be, a, there's going to be a lot of blues over in uh, Istanbul. Depending on the result, obviously, but um, but yeah, you know, I still, still have an army there. I probably, I probably have more red there than Luke as well, to be fair. Uh, but that's just <laughs> what it is, you know what I mean? Yeah, because they won't be doing very much. The Reds, will they? Nah, yeah, no, 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 that's it. it. That's it. No, no. We don't, we don't, we don't no. get, we don't get, we don't get in the fucking stadium as well. We're all dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, know, mate. But listen, mate. All I say, I appreciate the call out there, but. We're going to fucking war. You would know that. It had to happen. Right, going forward after this fight, what the fucking war do I want? Nothing. I've done it. I've done it. Through you, I'm having my dream come true fight. And I've always respected for that. But let's let's fucking do it, mate. It's nearly there now. Nearly showtime. I'm fucking buzzing. Are you saying, Luke, that if you lose, that's you done? Am I fuck? Is he he mad? There's no fucking quitting me. You're mad. I've been chimped three times and it's fucking been 40 months, but I'm still fucking plodding on. Listen, I got chinned, yeah? I don't give a shit. I've been chinned all my life for 13 years fighting. Been chinned of chin people. I, I'll, I'll never quit. If I quit, I might as well be in a box. Simple as that. And that's the truth on end all of it. So it's like, after them three fights, 99% of people have gone, right, call it a day. I'm like, I can't. Because I've not had my fight. I can't go into detail about them, yeah, but don't do this, don't do that for a little one for you, yeah? And it's like, as long as I go out there, big, I've given it me all, and I'm up And I have, But I will get the win. I know I will. Anthony, so, if, you're, if, you, if it's your night, where do you go next? Because obviously you're on a big platform. You, you've boxed on uh, Vicious before. Now, where would you want to take your career next if you're victorious? Um, to be honest with you, I'm not. I'm not even thinking past this fight at the minute. Um, you know, I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm not going to underestimate Luke. Do you know what I mean? I know he's. Um, he's got an opportunity. He's on a big platform. You know what I mean? He can go out here. You know, and I know he's training hard for it. So, you know, I'm just gonna. I'm just. I'm just looking forward to this fight. I'm just gonna give everything to this fight, and then, you know, what we'll see what the outcome is to see where I go from there. Both well, getting a fucking gang. They were both getting a film fighting next as well. You could. I literally said it then. <laughs> both getting a film as well next. <laughs> Is it? But that's first United films in the directors watching. Get it on. 
So listen, what we're going to do, okay, is we're going to give you 30 seconds each to leave your parting shot. Anthony, you can go first. What is your message to Luke now? Mate, listen, just get fucking training, mate. Get training as hard as you can. Because let me tell you, on June the 9th, you're going to hell. You are going to be sorry that you are in that ring with me, mate. I'm going to drag you to hell. You're going to be fucking crying to get out of that ring, son. <laughs> and Luke, your message uh, is reply to Anthony. Listen, I've had some fucking tear-ups in my time. None of this touchy-feely shit. I am going to fucking punch your red right through the back of your fucking skull. Let me tell you, you are going faster, Bobos. Nah, nah. Then I'll pick it up and get a pint after it, yeah? But listen, we both go to war. We don't fucking move out of the middle of that ring, are we? We are going to fucking hell. Let's make ourselves proud. And that is the end of it. And make Manchester proud because this is going to be yeah. one tear up that I think everybody is going to be anticipating and looking forward to. Boys, all we hope is that you both come out of the ring absolutely fine. We're looking forward to this fight. We cannot wait for this. And thank you so much for coming online tonight. And uh, good luck on June the 9th. Can anybody still get tickets? Yeah, Yeah. tickets still available, yeah. Obviously, if you you, you want to come in the blue half, give me a shout. And um, (laughs) I appreciate appreciate all the support I can get for this one. It's going to be a round one. I'll I'll, I'll copy that as well. If you want to come in the red half, yeah. Come on my fucking side. (laughs) But yeah, tickets still available. And I'll I'll grab mine this week. I'm out of time yet. I've been too busy. But... All the best, mate. Let's fucking do it. Let's get to war. See you there, pal. All right, mate. Thank you so much for coming on and we wish you the best of luck for the fight, boys. Cheers, Cheers, mate. Thank you for having us, yeah? No problem. Boom!